Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming. And here is another update of the Cantina Diorama. As you can see guys, uh, this is going to be a tutorial video. So I never showed you how I do the lights. So I've been working on the roof or the ceiling actually underneath. Uh, I'll give you a quick pause. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll get to that. But um, this is the inside, so I'm putting all the electronic stuff in here. Uh, this is what I use, okay? These are, let me sit down here, guys, and get a little bit more comfortable. Um, these are called string lights, LEDs, okay? They look really soft on camera and stuff. They're a little bit harder in person. If I get closer, you might be able to see how they are. Right. Sorry, guys, I haven't had my manicure. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, so I've been working on the inside, okay? Uh, the ins the inside is really nothing, guys. You know, like I said, you really don't care how it looks. You just want to make it work so you can get it lit up. <laughs> All right. So these are the magnets that hold the um, other roof together so I can keep everything together here, okay? I'll get into that at a later date, maybe, uh, maybe today. But uh, we'll see how time goes. But um, here's the inside of the roof. I want to flip it this way so if you guys were standing inside the cantina and looking up that's what you would see. Okay. Let me put some light on that. Alright. So the inside has a series has a series of pipes. Sorry guys. I, the tripod shaking there. Um, series of pipes, different mechanisms going on, things, just junk I had laying around. I've never seen the inside of the cantina um, in the back room. Nobody's ever seen the ceiling at all. So, and there never really was a back room. <laughs> so this was all imagined by the illustrator. Uh, so I'm going by his design, but this he never designed because he did cross sections. So I needed to create a ceiling and a roof. So I'm guessing... I, ha I don't have the plans to the ca to the cantina, guys, all right? So this is just all my imagination, like use just using com some common sense and how the uh, overall design of the cantina is, okay? Um, you've all seen the photos on Facebook. Thank you for following me there. I really appreciate it, guys. And thank you for subscribing here as well. And if you haven't, and if you know somebody who hasn't and who would be interested in, in seeing something like this, uh, uh, let them know okay um as you can see here right here um what these pieces are here they're they're it's tin foil okay i put mod podge down in between then put the uh tin foil let it dry then i trimmed off the excess i wanted it to give it like that tin that old 50s 60s tin roof style uh, i guess it would be more considered more like in in boston maybe 1700s or something like that All right, but moving on. So these lights, guys, are going to be running through the inside here, okay? I'm going to be putting them in on the top. So I'm going to just show you kind of like it's... I'm not going to do the whole tutorial, but I just wanted to show you what I do with lights. Um, the end of the... Uh, I keep reversing. I'm not used to doing this, guys. <laughs> the ends of these are these tiny little beads, okay? You see here? These beads are um i forget what they actually call them but they're just plastic they look like straws cut in half but they're hard and rigid and 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 durable and they come with in a zillion different colors and you can find them at any craft store um walmart sells them on the cheap you can get like 500 for a buck so um so the leds are really hard um you know lights you know they're not diffused by by any stretch of imagination okay so what I do is pinch it here just is because of the uh, design that I'm using for and then I'm gonna put the light inside and it changes it from you know like to a reddish it's hard to see here but it's red it's red here there's a lot of uh, uh, wash you can see the reds casting but it also casts a little bit of a of a white light um, so these are going to be on the inside in conjunction with this piece right here okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to countersink the light 
on the inside like this to make it look like a canister light, okay? But I also wanted it to diffuse the light on the inside so it's not so hard. But not, you know, not a lot of people are going to be looking up into the light bulb anyhow. It's just there for lighting, okay? Um, and it also looks great with the red. See how the red looks? And because it's silver, I'm going to tell you what, these, what, what this thing, what it is and how I made it. It's really cool. And you know what's really cool too, guys? These are the exact same dimensions as the IG-88 heads. I kid you not. And it almost has the same shape. You can buy these at, and in fact, here they are right here. Uh, they're little LED things. They come with uh, three batteries on the inside, okay? Fully charged, you pull a tab, you twist it, and it turns on, okay? They last probably <sighs> three days, three days like this, and then they start to fade. Okay, um, on the first hour that they're lit like this, they will dim just slightly. But mostly, these you, you can find these at party stores. You can find them at um, Hobby Lobby is where I get them. They are like uh, six or seven dollars for a pack of twenty. Okay, now, and they're completely recyclable. Okay, because all you have to do is just change out the battery. So, say for example, you want to use this okay for um some lighting in a in a you know one of your dioramas and you stick it up on the ceiling like that and you could paint it you could decorate it whatever you want but you would station make the uh the base stationary and then all you have to do is unscrew it like a light bulb take out the batteries okay which i'm going to do because i'm going to show you what i did so i would take that off well this would be like glue to your diorama say for example all right so then i would take out the batteries save them you know make a bag that you know your batteries are good okay and now it's it's empty on the inside but i have to get the cap off so i will take that cap off here so the cap is plastic okay makes a nice item to use to uh hack later i probably would have used this in the light but it looks too large you know what I mean? It doesn't look like a miniature light. It just looks like a bulb. <laughs> All right. So and then I'll just pop out the um, the small light that's in there as as it is. Okay. Um, I guess I could use the batteries, but think about I would have to change them all the time. And this is on a battery pack that is on a timer uh, for six hours on, eighteen hours off, and it lasts for a month like that. And that's that's pretty awesome and you can keep it on for a month. So now it's hollow, okay? And then all I do is just, I'm gonna feed it in. Um, I wanna keep the screw side up. So what I'll do is I'll feed it in. I'll glue them in there somehow. I'm not gonna glue them in there now, guys. And they'll both be, you know, like this, side by side. And then they're going to be going in here somehow. You see what I mean? I got two different colors. So there's going to be four of them. Two here. Two here. Okay. And they'll all be different colors. I will be painting the ceiling as well. You know, making it look weathered and, and detailed and, and, and stuff. I have to trim this pole here because that was just, you know, so I can keep it stationary. Um... Yeah, but all these pieces are just random pieces that I had laying around that I guess that kind of looked like something that may be out of Tatooine or Star Wars and just my own experience. Um, those wires right there have no use. They're just there for aesthetics to make it look nice. Um, I have these two vent things right here, which are actually um, the backside of a calculator uh, key punches, you know. The letters you know the plus sign the equal sign and i just disassembled one of those and used the back side to look like vents i mean i didn't know that's what they were but as soon as i looked at them i'm like hey those look like vents but that's how i that's how i build you know i i, I see something and it looks like it 
And if it doesn't, I can manipulate it with something else that I find that looks like another part of it and combine them together. And you all know what I'm talking about. You know, when it comes to hacking like that, you just you just see it, you can't explain it, and you make it. Um, so, so I like doing this aspect of uh, you know like doing things that are like completely um, imagined, you know, because there's no reference for them. So this will be going in the the canteen itself. So. Um, what I am going to do is uh, show you the battery pack right here really quick. So this is the battery pack. It has a um, takes three three batteries. I like the rail back, they last long, plus they're inexpensive. And it has a timer on it, a regular setting, and an off. And I like the timer. And when I'm building with it, I keep it on the timer because it's really nice. Because they stay on for six hours. When the lights go off, it tells me to stop stop building. <laughs> so <clears throat> that being said. Um, so yeah, I got some various uh, straws and stuff. You know, straws are make uh, make a great idea uh, for pipes and stuff. Um, I do paint them ahead of time because after I'm done playing with them, they get all weathered and chipped the way I want them. Okay. Um, really, that's that's basically it. I just wanted to show you a tutorial on doing the uh, ceiling guys. Um, I hope that wasn't too boring. I could show you, you know, some of the cantina, but you've seen so much of it already. Um, I will be posting some pictures later today of the final progress. I'm going to finish this today, all right? And then uh, I'll display it in the room um, in a small little section so you can check it out. I may do a video, who knows, but we'll see. But uh, I want to thank you guys for coming by. I want you to thank you. I want to thank you for uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing anything you possibly can. Uh, you can follow me on instagram at vincent agatha or you can follow me on facebook same name agatha vincent and if you are here thank you very much for watching and subscribing if you're not get a subscription it's pretty fun anyhow all right guys thank you very much i love you you be well you be kind and uh,